I was very interested in Breaking Point. It was sort of medical in the sense that it was about a psychiatrist. And I thought it would be interesting to have a show about a psychiatrist who is the main character and every week deals with a different family or person, a different case. And I sold that idea to ABC, and then I began looking for the actor to play the psychiatrist, and there I ran into real problems. First, I talked to Peter Falk. Then I talked to Cliff Robertson. Then I happened to have been in New York and saw a play called Barefoot in the Park with a boy in it, a young man I had never seen or heard of, called Robert Redford. I went backstage, and I said, I think you're terrific. I have an idea that I would like to talk to you about. So if you're going to be out in Hollywood soon, I want you to come and see me. And he did. He was there very soon. And I told him about Breaking Point, and he was very interested, but he wasn't sure that he wanted to do television. He had never done a movie. He had never worked out here, really. He was about 24. But he sort of had a feeling that he was going to be successful. And I sort of had the same feeling because I said to him, he, he told me then that he wasn't sure he wanted to do a television show, but he would think about it. But as he walked out the door, I said to him, listen, whether you do this or don't do this, you're going to be a big star. And then after that, I said to him, I'd like to represent you. And because I obviously believed in him, he said yes. So I became his agent. He did not do the television show. Cliff Robertson didn't do it. Peter Falk didn't do it. They None of them wanted to do television. So I got an actor who wasn't that successful in it, and the show wasn't that successful. It could have been very good if one of them had done it. But anyway, Redford and I began a long relationship that lasted until I left the agency and became a producer. But I was very fond of him. I thought he was really bright, and we, we were involved in, in all of those early movies. And he said to me, I don't understand why I'm not being offered the same parts as Red as uh, McQueen and Paul Newman. And I said to him, because you're just a kid. You're not grown up yet. When you get to be 30, you'll get those parts. And he did. Yeah. Uh, but he was very smart. He always has been very smart. I respect him a lot. You did get him to do television, though, because he appeared. I did get him to do a breaking point <laughs> as a favor to me, yeah. He did. He was very good.